Hey everybody, I'm Richard, and welcome back to West of Loathing. I was trying to go through this to see if I'd get anything from hearing his jokes, because they were just terrible, one after another. And then eventually an option came up where I could say, Wasco, you're real bad at this. And he says, what? No, I'm not. You're bad at the stuff you do. Dumb things, probably. Come on, let me tell you another. Okay, hit me. Boy, it was really, really cold yesterday. You're supposed to ask me how cold was it? Uh, Wasco takes a bow. I... I've been doing this for a bit. I've probably spent way too much meat here. All right, here's a classic. What walks with four legs in the morning and two legs in the afternoon and three legs at night? A man. ba dump dum Shh. I don't hear it. Seriously, you aren't good at comedy. Shut up. I'm great at jokes. No, you aren't. But what about my... Your timing is terrible. Timing. <laughs> All right, hit me. So my Uncle Alex thinks he's a chicken, and uh, my wife suggested that we should take him to see a psychiatrist. Why, why would you... What? Oh, because he thinks he's a chicken. I thought he said that he is a chicken. And I said maybe we should take him to a regular doctor. Because I'm pretty sure it shouldn't be possible for a regular human man to lay eggs. Uh, okay. Hit me. God, how much meat do I have to spend? I feel like there's something going to be leading up to this. Hit me. Take my wife, please. Now, Okay, now he's looping. I'm telling you sincerely, you should quit. All right, all right, fine. I admit it. I can't tell jokes with a darn. But what else am I supposed to do, though? You're a pretty decent banjo player. The jewel in the dirt water could use a banjo. Uh, okay, th yeah, that sounds pretty good. Can't be much worse. He packs his belongings. Cool. All that for that? Why is his banjo still playing? Can I go in here? Really? Getting rid of him did nothing? I just helped dirt water out? Well, what the hell? What a waste of time. I'm going back to that train unless I discover something along the way. Open up your crowbar. Damn it. I was hoping I discovered a new location. Ooh, orthopedic boots. That's what I need. So like I said, if I, since the places you go are random encounters, if I don't discover them and I just have nothing left to do but the last quest, then I guess that's what I'm going to do. Uh, what do these orthopedic boots do? We got plus three AP. Oh yes, screw AP. Uh, awesome. Unless AP adds to my actual attack, like the amount of damage I can do. I never fought these guys, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, kill them. <clears throat> Wait, I also don't know how strong they are. Uh, they ain't that strong. This will kill them. 103. I am great. And they whiff, so even better. Come on, Buffalo. You gotta attack one, so you know, I can just kill the other and then maybe you can kill it. Does it seriously say I put him at minus 92? He's got 5 HP. Oh, I'm an idiot. I never realized it tells you their stats down there. It's like episode 30, and I'm just realizing. Dining car key. Great. Unlock. What do we got in here? Investigate. Oh, 50 mysticality. What am I at? 25. Oh, God. <laughs> that is not good. Is there anything I have that can add 25 more? I'm not even going to bother. I'm sure there isn't. All right, what else do we got? There's a scuffle. The door between the dining car and the sleeper car is welded shut. I'm sure there's something cool in there, too. Oh, well. Oh, it's you again. Well, let's do it this time. Correct his grammar. Oh, my God. We wreck his house. He's got... Uh, I don't want to take damage because he's pretty strong. Let's just hit him with one of these. 77. Uh, I can only do up to 74. Let's hit him with one more. I got lots of dynamite. All right. And you're going to be dead. Nice knowing you. <laughs> what the hell? Is he crawling away? Norton went flying off the side of the train. No way he'll make a dramatic recovery from that event. You should head up to the cabin and see if you can find some way to steer this thing back to Frisco. Ugh. First, I should find a way to make my ass more comfortable. I need a nice... I gotta look at all these YouTubers that I watch. Oh, hey, we'll fight you. There's like a ton of YouTubers I watch. So I, and... All of them have these nice big chairs with a nice back support. I have though probably the worst office desk chair that you could possibly ever have. I don't know why the hell I haven't like thought about, oh, I should get a nice chair. My ass is always numb and sore after recording. Ah, he rifled through his pockets. They're empty except for his luggage tag. Turns out his tag is number three. Is there some way I can find his luggage? Number three? Uh, maybe we'll read that nose first. 
I've hidden the key to the forward passenger car in my luggage to make it easier for me to murder everyone in the sleeper car. Sincerely, the train murderer. P.S. Come to the roof of the sleeper car in the next 55 minutes if you want to murder him. <laughs> Is that the guy I killed? Okay, so I got luggage tag three. Open the door of the third passenger compartment and find nobody inside. Hmm, since the note from the murderer said he was going to be on the roof of the train, that means he could be in the passenger compartment. And since there's no one inside this passenger compartment, whoever the compartment belongs to can only be by be on the roof, which means the person who re-entered the compartment must be the murderer, probably. You only clue you f the only clue you find here is a luggage ticket, though it has a number three on it. Hmm. I have that already. From killing him. Seriously? What about this one? I don't want to talk to you. You're French. Just like Liffy. The worst. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, uh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I don't really care. We know who's the murderer. What do I get? Passenger car key. Ooh. Let's go through. Finally make it a passenger car. One car back from the locomotive, which may be confusing if you thought locomotive meant the entire train. So I could just say the engine, except for that also refers to the engine itself. That is the actual steam engine that makes the train go. And not just the frontmost car of the train. Anyway, you're in the passenger. Suddenly. Norton clamors through the window. He must have dramatically clung to the side of the train in order to reveal the last minute that he actually hadn't been defeated. Dang it. Runs into, uh, well, the frontmost car of the train and locks the door. What a jerk. Maybe you could get some of the passengers to help you break down and arrest the door down and arrest them. Or maybe you could just kick the door down and shoot him until he can't bother anybody anymore. I like that second idea. Confront Norton. Open up, Norton. No. All right, I'm coming in. Oh, yeah? You and what army, tough guy? Just me, you crazy old bastard requires three. I can take him. Me and Buffalo can take him. Watch, he probably has like a million health. No, he doesn't. Uh, yeah, I'll just play it safe and kick his ass with dynamite. D -d dynamite, dynamite, Cato Stalios. Don't know where that came from. Uncle, yeah, you little bitch. Screw you, Norton, giving me the antivirus. Well, that's one way to deal with an antagonist bureaucrat, not strictly speaking a legal or moral way, but it's hard to argue with success, especially when you're dealing with a kind of crazy old bastard who poisoned your eyes and kidnapped an entire train. Hooray! Now what? You did it, thanks boss, no problem. We got the track laid right up to the station now, the first ever cross-territory railroad, thanks to the Manifest Destiny Railroad Company. And principally you. You did a real good job, Eagle Rogers. Ah, shucks, don't mention it. Oh yeah, look at me go, oh, I love my little walk. The Frisco Station. Now playing the final cutscene, what do you mean? So yeah, the train got the projectionist, would you like to watch a movie? It's free because movies have only recently been invented and nobody's figured out how that they can charge for them yet. Doing this will not change anything about the world or your character. When the cutscene is over, you'll be right here and you can keep playing if you want. So this is the end of the game, just like I said. Is there anything else I can do in Clooney's? Uh, this is a huge brawl. Can you tell me about Frisco? I think he's already told me. Huge brawl. What have you got? I don't want any of that. No! Bye bye, barman. Man, I. I don't want this. this to end. I, got, I was saying if I come to it, I'm just gonna end it, and I do have nothing left. But I thought there was a whole bunch of stuff around here. Let's go back to Dirtwater and see what happened with the Banjo guy. Maybe I'll discover something. Come on. Game. It's supposed to help me discover places. I even have a random encounter. Where did I send that guy? Here? Nope. The saloon, probably. Yeah, the jewel. I haven't found a cactus for Bill. Where's the Banjo guy? Hey, is that... Poor old Ellsbury. Show him helmet. Does this belong to you? It does, long time ago. I, I don't suppose there was anything else that you find. You mean this? Yeah, that's the stuff. Could I give it to him? Cracks open the bottle, drinks deeply. Uh, would you like to hear a story? Yes. I didn't even know this was a guy. Tells you the tale of a writer who suddenly awakens in an otherworldly, windswept city inhabited by ethereal cows. Something about the story, you really lost yourself in it. Thank you, Ellsbury. If you ever want to express your gratitude in a more tangible way, you know the trick. Goes back to listening to the piano. Okay. This is not where I sent the banjo player. These guys. Cool. Don't really care. You guys. Gary. 
sleeping fighters. Man, let's just travel up to here and then travel to there and hope I find a new place. Open it with your crowbar. Well, if not, then the game's over. I got a rancher's pistol. What does that do compared to my smoking gun? 13 to 17, 10 to 13, blah. Boring. I didn't even uh, discover somewhere new. Let's go back to Frisco. Go on something new. That's kind of sucks that it has to be a random encounter. Oh, check it out. Oh, that's all the way over there. How did I discover it from here? For unnecessary. Is this that unnecessary? What the hell happened here? A harried looking young woman in a military outfit darts in front of the door as you enter. Oh no, I can't be having any more misfits in this jerk wad. <coughs> wad ward, not wad. You can either swear to me you're halfway competent, heck, even a quarter, and that you'll s help out sort this crew of Noah hoppers, or you can turn right around and march double time. Sure, I'll help. All right, I'm gonna hold you to that promise. Come on in, I'm Captain Harriet Davenport. You go, Rogers. Problem miss. Problems. Uh, welcome to Camp Fubar, where all the army's idiots and rejects are sent out this way. I have to my all blah blah blah. Muster out. Okay. Can you give me some details? I need to talk to them individually for more information, but the brief is we got a scout for who's blind as a bat, a cook. Okay, I don't really care. Come on. What do we got? Who's this guy? Hi. Howdy, do I know you? Your fuzzy silhouette doesn't seem familiar. No, I'm just passing through. What do you do here? Well, I was supposed to be a scout, but I went out and broke my only pair of glasses. Without them, I can't see a dang thing. i get you a new pair. Jeweler's cabin. Okay. Look at this, I'm finding all kinds of stuff now, and I thought it was going to be over. Howdy, what's wrong? Oh, gee willikers, I had a pretty bad job, a pretty good job at the general's personal assistant, but I got fired and reassigned here. What happened? I think it was great at first. I'm pretty good at scheduling. I can write shorthand, and I'm plus... I'm a plus boot, A plus boot ship polisher. Blah blah blah, bow tie, you expect me to do the tying for him, no good? Nope, I can't do a sheep shank or a bow tie, help him out. <sighs> Leave him to it. 45 moxie, how much do I have? 18, how am I only at 18? Uh, cooker, how appropriate. Well, if, it would be if I knew how to cook, like even a little bit, what seems to be trouble. Try to help him with a metaphor. What if you thought of the toast as a shingle and think of the corned beef as uh, a hole in the ground? So I should put the corned beef hash under, no, next to, no, no, I'm sorry, I don't get it. Can we try again? Sure, let's try again. Um, a road map. Um, your head. Damn it. Um, a shoe. Your head. <laughs> Damn it. I'm gonna try everything with your head. Elbow, your head. I didn't try a shingle with your head. Damn it. Okay, roadmap, corncob pipe. I'll get this by process of elimination. Shinola. Wait, I didn't try a shingle with Shinola, did I? Damn it. Didn't work anyway. No, I don't want a shingle. None of them work. Suck. A roadmap on your head. A road map, and a hole in the ground. Getting there. A shoe, a corncob pipe. A shoe, and Shinola. Of course, I put corned beef on the toast. Just like Shinola on a shoe. Oh, is sh Shinola, obviously, I don't know what Shinola is. I'm an idiot. Whatever. <laughs> okay, so I can't help this guy, because I don't have nearly enough moxie. What is this? Does it add, like, a million moxie? At seven moxie. Where does it go? Um, I had this. Oh, this adds nine though. Screw all that other stuff. Well, this adds mysticality and muscle also. Now I'm putting my moxie down. Jeez, how am I supposed to get 45 moxie? I got 17 now. <laughs> That's terrible. Is there another way I can show them? Who's left? Yeah, yeah, I know who's left. I haven't talked to a lot of people yet. Oh, I just don't want to talk to her. Mess hall. Wait, this is the same place. Uh, what's your problem? Call me Proud Bow Legs. I can see why it looks uncomfortable. Look at my legs. Yeah, they're too wide. Horse slips right between them. Uh, bend his legs back. Oh, huh, well, I, uh, okay. With some grunts. Oh, great jumping Jiminy, man. Oh, don't be a baby. 
Look, they're much straighter now. I guess I can't deny that. Okay, what about you? Suppose I'm supposed to be a cannon here, huh? Blah blah blah. Cannon loading for idiots. Oh yeah, I did have a book about that. Oh well, let's see. Oh, you take the stick back before you pull the cannon. Well, I'm sorry, it sounds easier. Blah blah blah. Look at me go. I am helping everyone. We are at a time, but I want to go to the jeweler's cabin and see how easy it is to get. Uh, let's fight it. I mean, I was just saying how we're out of time, and now I'm fighting things. 84. Screw it. I can kill him on the next turn. No big deal. Get him, Gary. Bye, Gary. It's nice knowing you. And finish him. Cool, cool, cool. Got some more scraps, even though I'm probably never going to go back and do that. Because as soon as I can figure out this fort unnecessary, and I might not figure it out, unfortunately, because I don't think I'm ever going to have enough moxie. And, uh, I'll flush this toilet and look at this. I'm probably never going to have enough moxie, and I'm not going to just play the game to try to farm moxie unless there's an easy way to do it or an item that can give me a ton. If you know about it, let me know. But in the next episode, I'm probably going to do that, and I, I might end it, which kind of sucks. I, it's why I'm worried about ending it. That's why I'm still going. It's like if I can get these glasses I might just go end it and call this a thing well, Hello, mr. Gerald's jewelry shop. Howdy. Are you master Gerald? Oh, no master Gerald's uh, at the workbench there I'm just his assistant and translator a goblin jewel smith uh, blah 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 blah. I don't care Blah blah blah. I need some glasses 500 meat. Sure. Thank you, sir See like I got everything but I'm not even close to being able to get the Hello, uh, I'm digging. Claims. Clams. Clams are not being in desert. Clams and oceans. Ocean things. Haha, <laughs> showing what you're knowing. Talk to in Goblin's tongue. Clams, ocean fish being, like slugs with shells having, not in deserts. Oh yes, smarty human, looking at this then. Pulls a large shiny uh, shell out of the... Okay. I don't have enough horn swoggling. Okay, bye. I mean, you're kind of close to the ocean. I'm assuming this water is the ocean here. All right, glasses guy. Here you go. Try these on. I'll be. Great. So just this guy, which really upsets me because I'm not even close to 45 moxie. And like, I probably don't have any items that'll give me a bunch of moxie right now. Which one of these has the most moxie? This takes moxie, I don't want that. That one does five. Uh, five is the highest, unless the current hat I have. So I can add five. And let me see what I'm at now, because I'm not going to change my character all over for nothing. I'm at 17, let's just do this. Why the hell not? So I'm at 20, so I need 25 more. If I get that hat, then I only need five, or 20 more. I wish I only needed five more. So let's see what else we got. This adds nine, which is... I'm at seven now, so it only actually adds two. So then that'll put me up, so I'll need 18 more, unless I have something else here with more moxie. Okay, 18 more. Um, does my current gun do moxie? So let's see, this would bring me down to 13. Oh, 6. So that would bring me down to uh, 12, which is... I'm getting there, actually. I'm just gonna... I should just start doing it. So that'd be 12. Any of you do moxie? Moxie, moxie. I mean, three, that does three, this does zero, so then that would bring me down to nine. Uh, we're getting there. Worry stone or this. Ooh, so then that would mean I only need three. Oh my god, I might actually do it. One of these must do moxie. Really? One? Oh god. I need three moxie if this is going to work. Oh, I accidentally just put that on. I want these on. Uh, moxie three. Wow, I was so close. But I probably have a consumable now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, anything add to my moxie? Increase your moxie by five. Drink it. Let me guess I can't. Damn it. Level up your glamour to increase your tolerance. Yeah, I leveled that up like a shit ton. And then I couldn't even freaking do it. Stop! 
Jeez. I can't do it anyway. Oh, damn it. I'm gonna put it all on anyway so I remember for the next one. So hat was the... Crap, I should've just did it, because now I don't remember. It was this one. Put that on, and then it was this metal. And then it was this gun, the befouled. And then it was the fancy knife. And then it was the worry stone. Blah, blah, blah. And then I think that was it. What am I at? 42, yeah. I need three freaking moxie. Does any of the stuff I have add to my moxie? This muscle. Oh, so if I go nap, then I could do it. So, this is a long episode because I think I'm going to end it. If I can beat that, I'm just going to go and watch the final cutscene. Because why not? There's nothing else I can do and I'm not going to do a whole episode of me trying to find new locations. I'm sorry, Bill. I couldn't find you someone. I was actually told that there's a garden or something somewhere. Maybe it's one of the locations I haven't found yet. Um, or maybe there's one in Frisco. I never thought to look around there. Well, actually, no, I did look all around there. Okay, so I should still be at 42. Yes, and then I'm going to drink that vine I had. And boom. 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 And let's head out. Oh, yeah, I'm going to teach this guy how to tie a bow. Please don't have to fight anyone. My muscle's probably down so much. <laughs> Please don't have to fight anyone, and then I go and fight them. Like a moron. Oh my god, these snakes are strong. Oh, and I have crap equipped. Oh, surrender. Oh my god, I forgot I took out my crappy or my good weapons. Yeah, I'm angry. I don't care. Damn it. My knife was so weak. Oh, they would have destroyed me. Okay, we're good though. We're here. Alright. Boom. Hello, sir. No good. Help him out. I think so. Let me try. Let him try. Boom. Look at me go. Hey. All in a day's work. Alright. Well, let's head back to Frisco. Sadly. Uh, I, pro I can't, coward. Yeah, yeah, I know. Making me mad. I don't have shit equipped for these fights. But if it's the end of the game, it doesn't really matter. Frisco Station, the cutscene, Clooney's, yeah, and then there's just houses, and they go on forever. So yeah, I don't know how to help Cactus Bill. I'm kind of sad that I never got to help him. Oh well. Looks like this is the end of West of Lowling. Show me the cutscene. Oh god, there goes my mouse pad. Some folks say endings don't matter. <clears throat> but other folks, they like to know how things turn out. The consequences of their actions, like... With the trains running again, Frisco thrived. People came from all over to seek their fortunes, but thanks to you, they didn't have to do it while on fire because some cows attacked their wagon. Oh, it's because I killed lots? Look at Frisco! Oh, it's so great. I don't care. <laughs> With the railroad completed and Norton out, outst, oust, Smee found himself out of a job, but in, in of an opportunity. After being elected mayor, he managed to Managed the growth and infrastructure of Frisco with the compassion and pragmatism. In 1944, Frisco was named most reasonable city by the Tuesday Evening Post. Look at it go. Wait. That wasn't there before. Look at you, Smee. The mayor. I used to manage him. After he got settled in, Gary climbed to the top of the tallest building in Frisco and shot spores every which way. They say his descendants still roam the west to this day. Oh my god, Gary's everywhere! After she finished getting the bakery boys up and running, Louise moved to Frisco and opened her own shop specializing in artisanal breads and pies. Look at Louise, jeez. They all look like bread, but whatever. Thanks to your assistance, Hobbert Buppert got the photography bu bug, or should we say the photography owl. Anyway, he opened an art gallery to the citizens of Frisco, who would never have never again have to suffer from the inability to see pictures of owl skeletons whenever they wanted. Those are some nice owl skeletons. Poke pictures. Kurtz left the fort and set up shop in Frisco. His cult um, fitness group, oh yeah, the cult, skyrocketed in popularity. The growth was entirely due to the word of mouth because the first rule of Kurtz fits, 
Kurt's fit is that you cannot stop talking about Kurt's fit. It's a good rule. I mean, keeps your business going, I'm sure. Wasco, the other musician, started a folk band, which he insisted on calling Wasco and Sons. They had one song that people really liked and a lot of other songs that people more or less tolerated. Pretty great. I'm pressing, I'm pressing keys. Don't want to hear you anymore. Buffalo, Buffalo, Buffalo Bill retired from the killing trade and made a killing opening up a restaurant in Frisco. Buffalo, 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 wild, wild, wild wings. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's just great. You solved all of Breadwood's problems. With the increase in morale and civic resources, they were able to clear the weeds from the road and fix the well that's been broken, hitching post. Uh, there was even enough left over to give the mayor's office a new coat of paint, refresh the facade on the buttery biscuit, and add a second story to the bunkhouse. They even managed to get that horse into rehab. It's beautiful. There is a drunk horse walking around. The well's fixed, like they said. Chuck continued to run his blood and breakfast without incident, accident, scandal, or allegation for many years. That's good, Chuck. You should probably get rid of the noose and fix those windows, though, if you're going to call it a blood and breakfast. You won four of the reenactment scenarios at Fort Memoriam. They still talk about you. Remember when that eagle fella came through here? Yeah, he was really, really good at this game. <laughs> Do you have any more root beer? <laughs> they talked about me. Uh, with your help, Roy Bean's Jelly Bean Museum became the talk of the town. Well, first they had to build a town nearby, but once they did, hooey. Seems like I did a lot of good. I'm waiting for the stuff I missed, though. Dirtwater became, relatively speaking, a thriving metropolis. Metropolis. Uh, thanks to your efforts as a commerce ambassador and all-around helpful stranger, the once sleepy town became a shining oasis in the barren, barren land. Every man, woman, and child in the town knew your name. They even put up a little plaque with your name on it in your old room at the Jewel. Can I, can I see my plaque? I want, to, I want to see my plaque. Seems like a thriving community. As for you, after your adventures, you settled in Frisco and bought a very long, very narrow house. You filled it with souvenirs of your exploits and started an antique hat track collection. When you left your home, you told Rufus you wanted to help people. Over the course of your adventure, you helped 54 people. You weren't whistling Dixie when you declared your intentions. If you had been Catholic, they definitely would have sainted you if you had asked. But you weren't, you wouldn't have asked because you wouldn't have wanted any, to be any trouble. Ah, that's true. I remember Rufus, my brother. Is this my place? Press any key to continue. Oh, look at all the hats I missed. Jeez. If that is what that is. There's my map. I don't see anything else I collected. Where's all my spittoons? Oh, there's that crown I found. And, oh, well, I got hats later, apparently. I skipped all the early ones. A pile of skeletons. There's my spittoon hat. I missed a lot. In 1906, all the remaining cows in the west were simultaneously activated by some kind of signal from hell. They thundered east, forming a gigantic single-minded herd. Led by an infernal sadist, Duke Bothicus, the cow army thundered east towards dirt water. Oops. Did I? Fortunately, a gang of rodeo cows swept in at the last minute and slaughtered the herd just before it reached dirt water. Dirt water. Unfortunately, all the townsfolk of dirt water had, had a hard time sleeping for pretty much the rest of their lives. Seriously, it was a grisly sight. Did I do that? 420 years later. What? Deep beneath the ground, ancient machines slightly stopped during doing the thing they were built to do. It's probably fine, you and everybody you know are dead by then, and most of humanity moved to space. Still though, it's a shame about the planet. There were some cool bars there. Eh, it's the alien stuff. Is this what where we were teleporting to the center of the earth? Thank you for playing. Thank you for making the game. Oh my god, that was such a fun game. I really, really love this game. It was just a blast to play. The humor was amazing. You couldn't, like, the writing was so good. I know that they made another game, I think, similar to this style. I'm probably not going to do it on the channel, but I'm going to go play it myself. Because it was so much fun. Anyone who played the demo at PAX. Beta testers. I wish I could have beta tested this. That would have been fun. I would have been the best beta tester. Such a good game though. Honestly, if you have never played this, there's so many ways you can go, so many different classes, so many different ways you can handle situations. Definitely go try it. I'm sure there's millions of people, I 
this video is not going to get millions of views, but you might have lots of friends who will tell their friends and their friends and their friends that there are tons of people that would have played this game 100% different than I did. So like, go check it out. Support these developers. They made a great game. And this is what I was talking about. You might also enjoy our free browser-based game, The Kingdom of Loathing, on the internet at kingdomoflothing.com. I'm going to check that out. It was probably a blast, but I know you can play on, but I'm going to leave it here. That was the final cutscene. Sorry for the long episode, but usually the last one in a series is. Thank you guys for watching this series. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video, press the like button, and I will see you next time. Bye. we will cover it, but I don't think it'll uh, really change how dangerous the hole is. Big ass stone's going to fly up in there and hit you in the eye while you're driving. Go right through that welcome mat. Well, maybe it's wet and heavy. Truck's coming along nicely. It's nicer than my car. 